Live! Hi folks and welcome to Open Analysis Live AMA where we answer your reverse engineering questions. If you like this kind of stuff, go check out our Patreon. Lots more reverse engineering content there. With that, let's get into it. Yeah, but this one is like very topic specific. I don't think we have time to answer that. Try oh, it's okay. We have, we have time. Okay, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It says, Look at the dog. Uh, He's sleeping. Any tips or tricks on making a config extractor for .NET malware? Oh, that's yeah, learn a get good. tooling. Get good. Get, get good. Get good. Learn a tooling. Uh, use ASM Resolver. Oh my god. <laughs> I can second that. I thought it was really good. Um, oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah. Learn the tooling. But, uh, yeah. It gives C Sharp tools a try. It's oftentimes easier to interact from C Sharp to C Sharp than to I am do it some other way. I am unhappy about this state of affairs, by the way. I don't like it that all the C Sharp static analysis tooling is in C Sharp. It feels extremely unsanitary to me. I do not like it one bit. I appreciate all the stuff that is out there, and Washi's work is undoubtedly amazing, but I would prefer it to be in Python. I would prefer it to be like inside the, 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 the tech stack that is so widespread in the industry and I'm but yeah, as you said, it's very topical. I will I will be quiet now and um not not continue ranting. I'll I'll mention that uh we've done a couple streams on this. Oi oh, loves Patreon. Feed my dog. Um so we have <laughs> we've done a couple streams on this and uh we actually experimented with uh, DNCIL. Did somebody mention that in the chat? Um, which is a yes. Python only uh, analysis tool for .NET. It is a steaming pile of shit, but it could be good if somebody put a little effort into it. Um, th yeah, thanks, Chris Begg. Um, we, uh, on our stream, and I think in our lab notes, uh, which are on our blog, we have an extension for that, which allows you to grab other tokens other than just strings. So right now they can only really grab strings like method names and shit like that. But we extended it a bit to grab other tokens. I think that if you want to do Python static analysis or static config extraction in Python for .NET, something like that is going to be needed. I'll also mention if you are just a blunderbuss like me, you could also just load uh, dnspy or dnlib into Python like a GigaChad, which we've also shown on stream, and just fucking use that. But I don't recommend it that. It actually works that's... surprisingly well. The Python yeah. that, uh, <laughs> library that I, I've, I've used it before as well. It's it's actually in a, quite insane. Yeah, it's it's nuts. There's there's notes for that. I'll, I'll just do a bang research in the chat for anyone who who really cares about this uh, research. Yeah. Also, um, Severus made a very detailed stream about writing her config extractor for Redline Stealer using Redline. DN file and Python, and not nice. yeah. C sharp. Yeah, yeah, DN so file and. Uh, oh, I, I think we should just get all the security infosec people to C-sharp. That, that's, uh, <laughs> that's the ultimate goal. No chance. Get to, get to appreciate C-sharp. It's not that bad. <laughs> but you have some time with me so I can convert you into a C-sharp lover. So... Look, I'm I'm old. I know many programming languages and I have nothing <laughs> against C-sharp. This is I don't I'm not even opinionated about it. It's just the fact the, the fact of the matter is the industry will not convert to C-sharp. The industry Just will kidding. use Python. It's that's how it is, and this has many reasons. Not all of them are good. Not all of them are satisfying. Not all of them make the most aspiring of uh, programming language fanatics happy. But it's effect of life. I guess my next project is going to be porting uh, my library to Python. Hey, it would be, yeah, it would it would triple, quadruple, <laughs> many orders of magnitude in popularity. I can promise you that. Yeah. He'll be famous. Get everyone, everyone to Haskell. That, that's the one. That's the man. So that wraps it up. Big thanks to our panel of experts. You can go check out their socials here. Thank you very much. And if you guys want to see more reverse engineering content like this, in-depth tutorials, live streams, your questions answered, go check out our Patreon. Lots more stuff like that there. And stay tuned for the next question.